Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today, the mid-season balancing patch is going live on all servers. It's been on the test server for two weeks and it will now be hitting PC, PlayStation and Xbox today. So let's take a look at the patch notes. Now, I've already got a Mythbusters video out if you want to see how things are being affected by all this. But to begin with, we've got a patch which will be under a gigabyte for most platforms apart from the Series X. We've then got Operator Balancing. So each Dock Stim Pistol will now heal for 200 HP. That was originally from 40. And you can't even heal an Operator to 200 HP. So this big number, although it's like super scary, you're never actually going to see that. And then you've got the Bailiff being added as a secondary option for Dock as well, which is really cool. Then we've got Docky B. So she's going to be able to phone people when they're dead. So if they're observing on cameras when they're a dead player, they will now get blocked by her ability and they're not able to interrupt it. They will just have to switch to watching a player run around rather than watching the cams until the effect wears off. This is probably going to change how Docky B is played because normally you would use her ability during gameplay quite early on rather than late game. Whereas now, late game actually might be a heck of a move with Dockaby. After that, we've got some weapon changes. So Castle is getting one of his old pistols back. We're also getting increased ammo for the slug shotgun for Goyu and for Kaid. And then Kali is getting her sniper rifle increased in damage. Kind of more like when she first showed up. So she should be able to actually down and kill pretty much everybody. But... Of course, Rook Armor will now give you withstand, so self-revive. So I can expect to see a lot of operators running around with Rook plates after this patch goes live, because this is going to be quite a, a big difference. And of course, we're probably going to see a lot of docks going around as well. I'll also mention that originally in the patch notes for the mid-season balancing, they mentioned recoil changes when detachments. But that apparently that was actually in there by mistake and was not supposed to be there. We may see that in the future. Maybe it was a mistake from a future patch, but that was taken off the original patch notes and there's no changes to recoil. And then we've got a general change here, which is the overheal is going from 40 down to 20. So this will affect all the healers in the game. And it's probably just to make sure that 200 HP heal from Doc isn't totally insane. But then we actually have something that's coming in which I wasn't expecting to see. We're actually going to have a brand new option in the menu, which is the reputation tile, which will show you your reputation. Now to begin with, this isn't actually going to show us much. It's just going to show us a couple of things for like abusive chat and reverse only fire. So it's not going to have all the details of the actual reputation system, but it's setting up what for what should come in next season. So expect to see that. And then we've got bug fixes down here, which goes over all the stuff they've changed during the test server session. So hopefully most of the bad stuff has been picked up and we will see if this mid-season balancing actually launches with relatively small bugs or if we end up with some big issues. But yeah, that is mid-season balancing. It is coming out today. And let me know what you think of it once you get this patch downloaded. And if you want to see how this affects gameplay, I have a Mythbuster episode out on it breaking down the changes. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.